Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This will be a tutorial on how to okay, make a tower defense day. game. Uh, and before we start, let's do a quick recap from the last episode. Other episode. In this one, we will add game states and also mm -hmm. this episode we will go from a blank blue screen to a... Finally, like a gonna add our editing scene. We've done a lot of editing. I also want to thank all of you for the milestone of 100 subscribers. That's really mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, so thank you. We reached 200 subscribers. Thank you so much. That's really cool. Might have figured out already. This episode is about adding enemy waves. This video, game. we're going to add the economy to the game, or rather, this way, the game makes a complete loop for the player. That's it, guys. The tutorial is now complete. It took 32 episodes and 34 videos to complete. 12 hours, 45 minutes of watch time. That is just crazy when I look at it. If you follow along this tutorial so far, I would like to say great job. You completed this tutorial and should feel great. Going from an empty class to a fully working game. Well done. It is clear that people enjoyed this one. I started at 65 subscribers when I uploaded the first episode. Now we're close to 400. And I also love all the positive comments about the tutorial. I appreciate it very much. Thank you guys. I had a lot of fun making this tutorial. It was designed to teach others about game development, get their foot in the door. But I learned a lot too. Doing something one specific way, just because that's what others do, is not a great way of explaining why you should do it. There must be a reason why we do it like that compared to the other methods. Why do we use JFrame? And what's JPanel for? What's the difference? Why do we keep FPS and UPS at different speeds? And why do we use both of them? One thing I had to really dig down into was the game loop. I know that it works, but most other videos out there didn't really explain why it works. It just... It just works. That is a big reason why my, or rather, our game loop is different from the most commonly used one. And the game loop most people use is apparently a copy of the Minecraft one. Or at least, close to it. So people just copied it, and it worked. In practice, our game loop works almost the same as the other ones. It just have our unique look to it. In this tutorial, we'll learn a lot of new things, such as how you set up a game window, how you draw to that window, adding user inputs, animation, game loop, and so much more to that game. Some of them took longer than others, but we got all of them. A few things didn't go as planned, but what does? I first had plans for more types of towers, and also towers that were specifically only for air or land only, meaning that they could only shoot enemies in the air if they were an air tower. But this would take a lot longer to add, and I'm trying to keep this tutorial as simple as possible, so that's why. What else? Um, towers that could rotate and follow the enemy, for example. But that was removed early, because that would only work on towers that would have a base and a shooting part. But I instead went with a weird looking NPC towers. There were some issues people had, some bugs I completely missed. Most of them I added a fix for in the next episode that followed. For example, the one where we had to resize the window to see the sprites. And that was actually caused by setting the set visible call in the wrong place. And if you had an issue and the solution wasn't solved in the next episode, check the comments. Usually someone else has the same problem. I tried to answer as many questions as you guys had. And as always, if you get stuck and can't seem to understand why it's not working, try downloading the code for that specific episode and compare my code with yours. Usually it's something small, a bracket wrong, a wrong variable, or something you forgot to call. Those are the most common ones, and I run into them all the time myself. So, what's gonna be next? Well, as I promised, I will make a few bonus episodes, more in-depth in certain mechanics, such as different pathfinding, adapting the game loop so it can catch up to the time if there is any lag. There is also an idea behind smarter towers, so they can target a specific enemy based on health or position. And I'm also thinking about reusing projectiles and similar objects. We can also add some smart roads that can detect nearby tiles and maybe some more. We'll just have to wait and see. After those extra episodes, I think I will start a tutorial for a platformer. I think that can be a lot of fun. And we can use a lot of code from this tutorial in the next one. I will give out more information later down the road. I don't think that there is much more to talk about. I remade the level and I've been playing around with values for the enemies and towers, trying to find a good balance. But I will leave most of this up to you. But there is at least two more things we need to address before calling GG. One of them being inside our wave manager, we never set the wave tick to zero. 
that's going to result in that our wave tick will be equal to our wave tick limit the next time we start the timer. So the next wave will come right away, which is wrong. So we need to set wave tick equals zero. And the second part is not something we really forgot, but something we should have. And that's inside our game class, the very first class we ever made. And in here, right under the set resizable, we're going to say set title. And it's inside here, you set the name for your game. So your game. And when we run it, we can now see the name of our game at the top here. If you think that there is something that's missing from the tutorial, please leave a comment and tell me what you'd like to see, and I will consider it. But I think this is the end of this update. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like and subscribe. There will be more videos about game development on this channel, I promise you that. Until the next time, I wish you the best, and again, well done for completing this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next video as well. Karin, signing out for now. Bye.